example where my center is not at zero, which I'm sure you could have figured out on your own, but just so you see how the interval changes. Okay, so I, the directions determine the interval and radius of convergence. Okay, so I take the limit as n approaches infinity, absolute value. Um, x minus 4 to the n times x minus 4 to the first all over n plus 1 times 9 to the n times 9 to the first. Okay, so I sort of do that. Use those exponent rules. 9 to the n divided by x minus 4 to the n. Okay, so now I get this to cancel. I get these to cancel. I'm going to bring the absolute value of x minus 4 out front of the limit statement. Limit as n approaches infinity of n over n plus 1. Okay, great. This limit here, whoops, forgot about the little 9 there. nine times n plus one. Okay, so by the ratio test, this has to be less than one in order to converge. So now when I look at this limit, the limit as n approaches infinity of what remains, that limit is one ninth. Okay, so when I look at that to find my radius of convergence, so I mentioned this in class, but just to reiterate, the radius of convergence is the value r where the absolute value of x minus c is less than that number. So I always have to isolate the absolute value of x minus my center. So right here, my radius is equal to 9. Now when I go to determine the endpoints that I have to test, negative 9 is less than x minus 4, which is less than positive 9. Adding 4, negative 5 is less than x, which is less than 13. So now I have to check negative 5 and 13 and see which, if either of those endpoints, makes uh, um, this series converge, this power series converge. Okay, so let x equal negative 5. So negative 1 to the n plus 1. 5 minus 4, oh, negative 5 minus 4 gives me negative 9 to the n. All divided by n times 9 to the n. Okay, I'm going to do a little reorganizing here. This gives me negative 1 to the n plus 1 times negative 1 to the n times 9 to the n. So again, using some exponent rules. Now these guys cancel each other out. Exponent rules again. When I'm multiplying like bases, I add my exponents together, divided by n. Now when I look at this, 2n plus 1 will always give me an odd number. Okay, so if I double a number and odd 1, my exponent's always going to be odd. Negative 1 to an odd power, that's going to, just for space rather, this would be negative 1 over n. This is still your divergent harmonic. It's just the opposite of it. So instead of my terms being 1, 1 half, 1 third, 1 fourth, it's negative 1, negative 1 half, negative 1 third, negative 1 fourth. So negative 5 is going to diverge that endpoint. Okay, now let x equal positive 13. So I get negative 1 to the n plus 1. 13 minus 4, that gives me 9 to the n, all over n times 9 to the n. Okay, these guys cancel right away, giving me the series negative 1 to the n plus 1, all over n. When I look at this, that negative 1 to the n plus 1 makes it a, an alternating series. So our first condition, limit as n approaches infinity of the absolute value, that's zero. And secondly, is my a sub n plus one term smaller than my nth term? Is my series decreasing? Yes. 
So what's my conclusion? At 13, that converges by the alternating series test. So to answer the question, my radius of convergence is 9. My interval of convergence, I exclude negative 5, and I include 13. So you'll be using that, you'll be doing quite a few problems that have centers that are not at zero.